merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Philippines. Good morning, universe. And good morning, Capital University. Good morning to our university president, Attorney Casimiro Juarez, and to our executive vice president, Dr. Fe Juarez, VPA and senior high school principal, Dr. Amor Q. de Torres, and our senior high school vice principal, Mrs. Conchita Bas. Good morning, deans and faculty members. I am Janessa Grace James from Senior High School Department, and I will be your host for today. I know that you are all very excited to know the result of the Miss Universe competition, but just breathe in, breathe out, and let's just hope for the best for the Miss Philippines. But let's all be also excited about our webinar for today. As we are all facing the, this unfortunate time that none of us expected, it is necessary to take care not just our physical health, but most especially our mental health, this mental health as well. So without further ado, 
let me introduce to formally introduce our resource speaker for today let me call in our science subject coordinator of senior high school miss omiel kair sangkupan Good morning, everybody. So before I finally announce our resource speakers, I would like uh, to remind everybody to please um, stay in tune regarding the question and answer portion after the webinar proper. <clears throat> so our um, resource speaker has a master's in clinical psychology. He is a registered psychologist, a school counseling associate, a group facilitator, and a resource speaker as well. Um, he finished his bachelor's degree of science and psychology as a cum laude from Holy Cross of Davao College Incorporated. And he also finished his master's of psychology in clinical psychology from San Pedro College. For his work experiences, he is currently an assistance guidance director, a part-time psychology instructor, and a research advisor at University of Mindanao. He is also, or he was also a village educator from SOS Children's Village Davao from 2013 to 2016. And he is also an, he was also an OT staff from Kaakbay Rehabilitation Center from March 2013 to August 2013. Some of his research interests include impact of sense of purpose and mental hygiene on mental health, looking at sense of purpose or meaning as a primary component of mental health and therapeutic development. He is, um, the trainings he has attended include aligned transformation through neurolinguistic programming at New Day Recovery Center and advanced counseling experiments, emotional exercises, and dream works from Gestalt Wellness Institute, Southeast Asia Incorporated. So that's just one of the many, many trainings he has attended. And for his non-academic uh, distinction and recognition uh, for speakership, for resilience and academic adjustment in the new normal Department of Psychology from University of Mindanao, and uh, for a speakership as well for strengthening students' disposition during crisis, Department of Social Work from University of Mindanao as well. Um, so uh, that's uh, the, those are the affiliations of our resource speakers. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Mr. Silvino Payo Hostel Jr. Hi, good morning, everyone, and thank you for that introduction, ma'am. Okay. I'm um, blessed and I'm actually grateful to be um, invited here today you know, and to be invited by, by the university, the Capital University, to discuss about this very important topic. Um, COVID-19... No, we thought that COVID-19 will will last for a little time lang, no, last year. However, um, up to now it's it's here, no. So nag one year na siya. and thus it is very important that we live through this um, through this pandemic, no, that we maintain mental health amidst this situation. That is why it is very timely and important to discuss about psychological health or mental health. Um, during this pandemic. So uh, let me um, let me discuss this topic through my uh, presentation. Now, um, next slide, please. Okay. Before we proceed with our proper uh, topic, I just want to know how do you feel about uh, your week? You know? how, uh, what are your feelings? What are your feelings throughout this few um, weeks. You can comment your feelings sa chat box or sa comment box, I think. No? So how do you feel about your uh, past few weeks? Mm, may it be positive or negative? Now let's just see kung ano yung, kung ano yung um, overall feelings ninyo so far. Ano kaya? Ano yung mga comment na aspect? No. It is important that um, we are attuned with our emotions and with our feelings. No, May it be positive or negative, it is very important that we are attuned 
and mindful of our feelings. We have to remember that our feelings are not our enemy. Okay? So regardless of its um, heaviness or its lightness, um, our emotions are our friends. No? And it tells us kung, kung unsa ta. It tells us kung unsa ang atong pwede buhaton. It, our motivation and it will help us um, evaluate as well what do we want to do and what should we do uh, in a given moment. Okay? So, thus, hopefully this seminar as well will assist us in being attuned with ourselves and being attuned with our emotions. Now, next slide, please. Um, we will discuss myths and facts about mental health and psychological well-being. We will also have an overview of the current situation um, amidst the pandemic. The overview or and the literatures about about the pandemic. We will also have discussion on stress, effects of stress, um, work-life balance, and coping strategies and um, resiliency. Okay. So. You tell me through the comment box, kung, oh, comment section rather, kung, uh, if you feel that the statement is a myth or a fact. Okay, so let's go through the five myths or fact of mental health. Next slide, please. Okay, before we proceed, disclaimer muna. No? Uh, one is, um, majority of the images that I have used in this presentation are not mine okay they are from uh, the google images or the unsplash.com although i put the original the name of the original author but there are some na, na remained anonymous nevertheless i don't claim ownership to this um, image second is that this presentation is a for awareness campaign and purposes it should not and it will not replace um, counseling and psychotherapeutic, uh, personal psychotherapeutic intervention. If you feel that you need to have a personal or professional help or professional um, assistance, um, I am um, open to assist you with these things or refer you to, to someone there in CDO. Um, and some, emo some information may be emotionally triggering for for any of you thus the decision to discontinue listening or viewing is up to you okay you can discontinue muna then you will just return later all right let us start myth or fact you tell me through the comment uh, section okay next slide mental health problems won't affect me what a Dili ba tam apektuhan sa mental health problems or psychological health problems? What do you think? Is it a myth or a fact? All right. It's a myth. Ang sabi ng iba. What else? Myth. Okay. Myth. All right. Okay, now let us see um, kung ano yung sinasabi ng literature. Alright? Now, the fact is, although not equally susceptible, everyone and anyone can be affected by mental health concerns. Yes, no, it is a myth. Um, although, not a different um, susceptibility. No? For one, there are many factors. There are biological, psychological, and social factors for mental health and psychological well-being for that matter. When we say biological, we have genetics, uh, meaning we have hereditary components. And we also have neurochemical, neuroscientific and neurochemical aspect. Ibig sabihin, Naiuban, or may iilan sa atin, or may iba, na mayroong hereditary genetic um, susceptibility for mental health concerns, no? Brought about by, by may, may it be, may iba sa kanila na mayroong um, family member or relatives who already have mental health concerns, okay? So that's one. Or, 
the level our neurochemistry meaning mga chemicals natin sa katawan uh, may have a very uh, yung yung kanilang kanilang level is either very elevated or very low okay or yung reuptake meaning yung yung hindi ganun ka capable yung ating mga neurons to to communicate properly sa isa't isa okay so that's biological component okay um second is psychological component our the way we view ourselves the way we view other people our self concept for that matter no yung ideal self natin uh, congruent ba siya or coherent ba siya meaning um almost almost magkapareho ba siya yung paningin natin sa, sa ating sarili almost pareho ba siya sa kung ano tayo talaga as a person okay um part in ng psychological aspect is our traits no our traits like personality traits and even our our perception and impression of our experiences and of course our social aspect no yung upbringing natin our peers our family and so on so all of this together can uh, can increase or decrease our susceptibility to experience mental health concerns okay that is why we have to check and recheck ourselves every now and then okay even kami sa mental na nasa mental health um, profession we also check and recheck ourselves not to diagnose ourselves rather we have to evaluate if we need um, professionals na professional help right Next slide, please. Mental illness is caused by a personal weakness. Weak man good ka by. What do you think? Personal weakness ba siya? Is it a myth or a fact? What, what do you think? You can comment your answers sa, sa comment section. Myth ba or fact? Personal weakness ba siya ng individual when we experience a mental health concern? Is it a form of weakness? Mm -hmm. Myth. Sabi ng iba is myth. Okay. Alright. Now let us see what is the what is the fact. Next slide, please. Now the fact is. A mental illness is not a character flow, okay? It is caused by a complex interplay of genetic, um, social, environmental factors. Seeking and accepting help is a sign of resilience and strength. All right. Okay. As I have mentioned earlier, um, maraming factors ng, for us to experience psychological um, crisis or mental health crisis, okay? Aside from that, to experience such is not a weakness. Okay? Ev part siya ng human condition. Okay? Part siya ng given human conditions. No, according pagani kay, according pagani kay Victor Frankl, everyone will experience suffering. Everyone, everyone will experience guilt. And everyone will experience death. The, thus, um, just because you are in pain, just because you feel uh, you feel sad, just because you feel anxious and stressed does not necessarily make you weak. Okay? In fact, to overcome all of these concerns will help you become more resilient and stronger as a person. Alright? So, perhaps, masyado, na, masyado ng maraming, kaya din tayo nakaka-experience nito kasi masyado ng contained and hindi na effective or efficient yung coping mechanisms na ginagamit natin. That is why we have to be um, more psychologically flexible. Okay? And kaya nagsiseek tayo ng help. Okay? Just because you you seek professional help, help does not make you uh, does not make you crazy or buang dayon. Okay? Dili na siya yung anak. Kasi minsan, meron din Part din ng social um, biases and kumbaga, 
uh, prejudice is that when we seek professional help, such as uh, seeking psychologists or counselors, we felt na baka sabihin na buang ta or baka sabihin na crazy na tayo ta. Not necessarily. Okay? In fact, mas okay gani, it is better to seek help uh, uh, right away. Okay? Uh, than addressing the concern na meron ng um, hallucinations or delusions or mas, mas, mas heavy na or mas lala na 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 mental health crisis at an experience. Alright? So, if you feel that you need to seek help, uh, you seek help, you go to your guidance facility, counselors, to your, uh, or to your um, mental health facilitators sa community. Nang sa ganun, mas ma-assist tayo early on. Okay? Next slide, please. Okay, I can't do anything for them who are experiencing mental health issues. What ay mabuhat, Anna? Okay, wala na ba tayo mabuhat for those who have mental health or psychological health crisis? What do you think? Is it a myth or a fact? End game na ba for them? Sorry, medyo igang ang sa... Davao ka. Anyways. Mm-hmm. Now, the fact is, next slide, please. Okay, the fact is, we are each other's support system. The more we learn about mental health, the more we know that we can do for ourselves and others. Yes, no? Just because we are mm, experiencing uh, mental health concern does not necessarily mean na end game na da to for them or for us. Okay? We can always do something about it. Meaning that we can not just assist ourselves, but we can also assist other individuals. The very reason why na nagapandakta ani na mga seminars, the very reason why we have mental health awareness, the very reason why we celebrate mental health awareness um, during the month of, of May. Uh, because we know that by doing so, we can address concerns about mental health. We can assist individuals who have experience, who have concerns in their mental health, and we can help them live better lives. Okay, so there are researches, there are things, there are interventions available to help us um, stand again, you know, to help us uh, become better and live a more fruitful life. Next slide. It is impossible to prevent mental illness. Tadhana judna. What do you think? Impossibly. Uh, dili ba siya ma- uh, wala ba preventive measures uh, for us na mahimo against mental health concerns? Now, let us see the facts. Next slide, please. Okay. The fact is there are things that are beyond our control. Yes. No, there are things that are beyond our control. For example, mm, death of a family member. No, it would create a um, uh, mental health crisis for anyone. The current pandemic, diba? although really dayunta affected, no, majority of us is not necessarily affected altogether, but it would affect, it would um, somehow become a catalyst to experience mental health concerns. So uncontrollable ni siya, no, ang kanang pag increase sa uh, cases or or anything at that no however there are also things that we can control okay such as sa comments in a healthy lifestyle yes no integrated integral healthy lifestyle such as healthy mindset no healthy food intake diba kasi um researches as well would would tell us no na, na I got mind 
principle, God mind relationship, meaning our gut, our um, ano to, our stomach has somehow a relationship with our brain. Okay, that our food intake will also affect our um, emotional stability and our our activities. Okay, the way uh, the way we also involved to to any activities at that. Aside from that is our mm, personal resilience, our self-esteem, and our self-efficacy. No, there are ways to improve these things, to control these things. No, later I will discuss few few ways to improve our self-esteem and our personal resilience. Self-efficacy, for that matter, um, is our cup is our belief system of we can accomplish something. Okay, so meaning um, to increase our self-efficacy, we have to know our skills muna we have to know our skills we have to know our potentials and our strength and we invest on it okay by not um comparing ourselves to other people remember that we are unique as an individual may it be na pareho tag majors may it be na pareho tag school pareho tag um perhaps subject na gina na gina handle uh, lecture na gina prepare and students. However, you as an individual is unique. Okay, that is why it is important that we not we should not compare our skills and our potentials uh, to that of other people's skills and potentials. No, kasi individual journey money. The moment na compare nato tong sarili, um, it it somehow creates ba an atmosphere or environment na we felt na dilita enough. When in fact, dapat ipsative, meaning personal ang comparison. Ang comparison dapat is who you were uh, before. no? And unsa yung mga nakita na improvement sa yung mga galingon at present. no? That's the healthier improvement or healthier comparison. And how do you wish to to better yourself and how do you see yourself in the future or perhaps tomorrow and unsa to mga improvement that you wish to accomplish little by little okay um next slide please if i seek help others would think of me as crazy what do you think Does it mean na uh, crazy tayong tayo if we seek help? What do you think? Now, yes, okay. Now let us see the let us see the literature. Mental health concern is not about being crazy. It is any thought, emotion, or situation that may and will disturb your personal, social, and functioning of day-to-day -day quality of life. Exactly. So, just because we have mental health crisis does not necessarily mean na. Um, crazy na dayon ta. Remember that mental health is um, two opposite poles. Um, Taasya na line na na encompasses many aspects and many factors. Okay, on one end we can be uh, we can be very healthy and very resilient. On an average, we are resilient, but at the same time, experiencing um, crisis at the present moment. On the other end, there are also do, those individuals na um, naka-experience na hallucinations and delusions and heavier mental health 
concerns or situation. Okay? But again, just because you seek help, just because you feel sad, you feel distressed, you're anxious, does not necessarily make you crazy. Okay, crazy or being uh, or ex or an individual who experiences hallucination del delusions on and um, perhaps um, illusions are those individuals who are clinically um, deemed as um, perhaps individuals who have psychosis or um, schizophrenia. And these individuals are really clinically um, diagnosed na 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 ay mental disorders or kumbaga mas lala na ilang na-experience na mental health crisis. Okay? It takes clinical diagnosis for that for us to label ourselves. And in fact, just because we have a mental health uh, disorder does not necessarily make you a lesser individual. Kasi nga, may mar marami namang individuals na even if um, na-diagnose sila with mental health disorders, is very, very um, productive pa din sila. And they are still, they are still capable of doing their, uh, their service of becoming functional as individual. Right? Now, um, Next slide, please. Now, the current situation, what is the current situation today? The current situation is we have a limited social activity brought about by um, brought about by our experience of the pandemic. No? Kasi nga um, currently, although medyo maluwag na perhaps sa CDO is medyo maluwag na, even sa Davao medyo maluwag na ngayon, pero hindi din sobrang luwag, still, we are mandated, um, generally mandated to to attend um, big gatherings, no? or so, big social gatherings. Thus, as much as possible, we have to stay at home, we have to be um we have to move away from crowded places, diba? Second is virtual classes. Virtual classes, meaning um, discouraged pa currently na, mag, na magkaroon talaga ng face-to-face -face classes. And because of virtual classes, madaming, um, madaming changes na naganap, both for students and teachers, and not just teachers, also for administration. Diba? For one, um, we have to change our mechanisms, we have to change our, our, our way of lecturing. Second, we have to stretch our patients kasi may iba na students na hindi maka-access through internet. That is why we have to give them um, we have to give them um, the best um, academic accommodation as possible. Like, we have to stretch our patience, we have to stretch our understanding to them. Diba? Na even if hindi sila naka-attend ng synchronous classes, still we we consider. No? So, yun. Aside from that, we also, the way we we prepare our modules and our our lectures are um, changed as well, diba? So, madaming changes. Aside from this is, because of virtual classes, hindi na klaro sa atin ang difference ng work time and personal time, no? Thus, um, our professional time or, or our work time, at some point, um, will take over to our personal time. And it can be also the other way around that our personal time will take over to our professional time. Diba? So, kasi nga nagsustain lang tayo sa bahay. No? Yun. 
both yan siya sa teachers at saka sa students. For students as well, it becomes very, uh, very, um, very difficult for them to differentiate their professional time and their school time rather and their work time because or or house time because ang um, ang iba is habang nag gumagawa ng module is uh, tinatawag ng parents or nagbabantay ng tindahan and so on no and they also have difficulty accessing accessing internet no Ganun. So, easy access to disturbing news. Yes, kasi we have more time now to social, to social media. Di ba? Mas marami tayong oras to, to use Facebook. Kasi nga, at some point, um, ginagamit natin yung messenger or social media to have updates on important news. At the same time, to have academic updates. No? Kasi mas easy, siya to, mas easy siya to navigate and mas easy siya gamitin. Ang downline lang niya is that it is easier for us to be exposed with disturbing news, no such as um, nangyayari sa Israel, nang uh, nagkaroon ba ng uh, sino yung sino yung nagkaroon ng suicide attempt, no or an increase or decrease ng 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 cases ng COVID or even political jungle no between opposition and administration lahat ng yan will also affect our personal peace and collective efficacy for that matter collective resilience for that matter okay in fact the mere viewing of bad news will also affect our sense of positivity diba? limited physical connection with friends kasi nga we are a social animal no we've evolved no sa evolutionary perspective pagani we've evolved as a social being no kaya importante sa atin yung physical and social connection next slide and of course uncertainties no that because of uncertainties currently dili na to ma-predict kung kanu sa pani mag-end ang pandemic kung kanus apa magbalik ang face-to-face -face, um, classes, no? And these uncertainties um, really would create stress, especially for teachers and students. All right. Now, what does the literature say? Kasi nga, ever since the pandemic began, marami na mga research, sorry, researches na naganap providing us um, providing us information about this uh, this current situation now one is according to lane and hunt and abbott et al social isolation created detrimental effect on our mental health meaning um, the more we the longer we stay at home the longer we are socially isolated the longer we are alone, will create detrimental and mm, disturbing effect sa mental health natin. And all the more that we are susceptible to experience negative emotions and negative thoughts. Second, teachers often feel that their personal safety and overall quality of life is also disturbed. You know? And although thriving, um, through coping strategies were already noted during um, after six months of quarantine. No? Although, um, although meron na mga detrimental concerns or situations na nangyayari, on the positive note, may mga coping strategies, personal coping strategies na ginagawa ang mga teachers no? for them to be uh, motivated even if the situation is still mm, uncertain. Diba? Part niyan is, ang iba perhaps uh, nanonood ng K-drama, perhaps ang iba is nanonood ng Miss Universe ngayon as, as means to cope up. Yung iba is through exercise, yung iba is healthy diet, ang iba is talking with peers or 
with family members, no? So, maraming coping strategies na available. Um, whereas physical activity helps in mitigating the mental health effect of COVID-19, distress is still apparent during uh, the continued lockdown due to increase of teachers' workload. Isa ito. Mm, as I have mentioned earlier, dahil nga sa virtual classes, maraming changes na nangyari. And because of this change, hindi din natin na-predict na malaki din yung workload na naibibigay hindi lang din sa teachers kundi even sa students and even sa administration no um, it is natural because lahat din tayo tayo din lahat rather is nag-a-adjust sa ngayon kaya it is natural na somehow hindi natin nawiwi in yung mga change yung mga workloads natin but because of this workloads as well no nagkakaroon din ng stress mas bumibigat din sa pakarin pakiramdam ng mga teachers yung um oh so yes uh, at some point hindi pa din natin kahit dahil na bago yung situation it is quite difficult for us to weigh which is acceptable work workload and which is not acceptable workload and as i have mentioned earlier because of the enmesh meaning masyadong closely tied yung professional personal health uh, personal time natin unlike before na during 8 to 5 na sa nasa office ako so ito lang yung ito yung gagawin ko sa office tapos after 5 so may personal time ako yung time ko is sa family so iiwan ko yung trabaho ko sa office no before yun yung nangyayari pero ngayon hindi kasi yung office time at saka personal time or family time natin nasa isang lugar Okay, kaya mas difficult sa atin to um, to create a very clear distinction between work period and personal period. Thus, workload is heavier. Teachers uh, con concurrently experience signs of depression, anxiety, and stress. Thus, there is an apparent need to facilitate their mental health and well-being which is very good for capital university that they've um that you have actually initiated this talk no meaning you are very ano very concerned sa mental health um pinagbibigyan niyo ng kumbaga ng ng importansya you're giving importance to the mental health of your of your peers and of your teachers no kasi nga um because of the current situation it is natural to really experience signs hindi naman depression talaga agad clinical depression pero signs and symptoms of anxiety depression even stress okay now considering this we have to clarify what is stress no how bad is stress is it can it be good no meron bang good stress or completely bad stress na lahat no and what makes stress stressful okay we have to navigate this aspect kasi if this is not clear then more likely mas maging susceptible tayo to experience this stress and mas magkaroon tayo ng um mas magkaroon tayo ng burnout. Okay, so we have to we have to navigate, we have to clarify this topic. Now, stress is what? Next slide, please. Stress is can be both positive or negative, no? Just because we experience stress does not necessarily mean na negative siya altogether. Stress can be likened to um, stretching or exercise, no? Um, at some point, we've experienced muscle pain, no? But it is a sign that our muscles are actually being stretched or being exercised. And it is also a sign na pwede siya mag-grow and mas maging functional yung muscles natin. Alright? So, stress can be like that. Now, um, positive stress is normal for for everyday living okay it motivates us 
it keeps us attuned with ourselves and inspired. Now, um, it also helps us decide and address um, urgent um, topics or we have the sense of urgency. Now, negative stress, on the other hand, will uh, is too much stress or um, the experience of of stress for a very long period of time. And because of that, we become demotivated and emotionally unstable. Now, stress is a burst of energy that basically ad advises you on what to do, okay? May it be good or bad stress, it allows us to decide and to, know, to navigate our options. Okay? Meaning, if we are in good stress, we become motivated and thus we feel that we have to continue this path. Mm, at the same time, if we experience bad stress, it should tell us what we should change. Okay? And we recalibrate and reevaluate kung, kung unsa tong kinahanglan natin bukaton. May it be na ate kinahanglan buwian sa tong lifestyle. May it be natay kinahanglan i-improve sa tong ways of doing things or ways of communicating to others, right? Now, um, as I have mentioned, there are two types of stress. We have use stress and de-stress. Use stress are good stress, no? stress that benefits your health, no? uh, like physical exercise or getting promoted. Um, this stress is a stress that harms your health and often results from imbalances between demands and made upon us that are made upon us and our personal resources to cope with these demands. Okay, so but how do we know if the stress is actually good or the stress is actually stress is actually bad? We have to evaluate next slide please we have to evaluate if it is if the, if the effect of this stress is actually affecting us healthily or not no so we can um, use this dialogue as as um, a guide no we have to appraise meaning um, we have to cognitively evaluate the stress. No? Ano yung epekto sa akin psychologically, emotionally, and physically? Nagkakasakit na ba ako? Do I feel, do I feel na, na enough pa ako? Am I still learning? Or, or hindi na, feeling ko stagnant na ako. If you feel na you're still learning and motivated and um, developing, then you go through with it. Pero if not, then perhaps it's time to recalibrate and change. Next slide, please. Okay, so this is the overall guide. Kasi minsan, pag sobrang calm lang din, it's not healthy as well. No? Pag, uh, pag, na, pag absence of stress na, it will, uh, it will make us feel bored. No? Thus, um, hindi din natin nade-develop ating sarili. Di ba? Kaya enough stress will also help us develop ourselves. Next slide, please. Okay, so you assess whether these things are good stress or bad stress for you. Okay, next slide. Stress, um, stress is good when it is motivating. It is exhaustive. Meaning, napapagod ka, but it does not make you feel fatigued. Meaning, hindi ka nagkakasakit. No? It allows you to become enthusiastic and enjoy things, but it does not make you feel sick. Right? Next slide. Uh, later na lang ito. Okay. Next slide. Now, next slide please. When we talk about stress, it is important that we also have work-life balance, especially during this time na nasa work 
from home situation tayo. So how do we manage work-life balance? Next slide, please. Work-life balance is juggling between many hats. No, meron tayong personal hats sa bahay, meron tayong professional hats at work, and meron tayong social social hats no, with our peers and with our other and with our colleagues no so we have to juggle each of this no by um by okay next slide please by evaluating how much time do we provide in each hat okay so ibig sabihin kin binibigyan dapat natin ng ng time frame din yung ating sarili all throughout sa day no like for the morning sa mag-focus ko sa kong family in the afternoon mag-focus ko at work in the evening mag-focus ko sa kanina mga aspect no so big sabihin we have to clarify areas that we have to function no um professional areas social areas economic areas for that matter and even family areas in each we have to designate or delegate um, enough or adequate time. And of course, all throughout, dapat pinitirhan din natin ng time yung ating sarili. Okay? Later, um, I will discuss to you ano yung pwede yung gawin sa personal time ninyo. Next slide, please. Um, when we feel na hindi tayo uh, nagkakaroon ng work-life balance, nagkakaroon tayo ng, we become more susceptible to experience demotivation, physical stress and mental stress, and even sickness and weak relationship. No, That is why it is important that every now and then we evaluate if balance pa ba yung binibigay natin na time both at work and personal time natin. No, kasi, Hindi din naman maganda na yung lahat na ng oras natin is napupunta na sa, sa pagtratrabaho, di ba? Uh, next slide. No? Because by having work-life balance, we can improve ourselves and improve our relationship with our with others. Thus, we reduce our um we reduce our risk to experience sickness or even susceptibility for absenteeism. Diba? And thus, we increase our satisfaction, personal satisfaction, and productivity. Productivity. Next slide. So you assess whether... Now... Work-life balance is not one size fits all. Ibig sabihin, it is a personal, personal take, no? Personal um, formula mo siya on work-life balance, no? Kasi hindi tayo pare-pareho ng ng demands in life. Hindi tayo pare-pareho ng ng life conditions and human conditions. Hindi tayo pare-pareho ng realities, no? Ng ng subjective realities. Kaya as much as possible, when you end your day, we have to you have to evaluate ano yung mga to-do list ko at tomorrow and ano yung mga grateful accomplishment ko at present. Okay? Um, yun siya. Importante yun siya. And yun yung mga fundamentals. Uh, next slide. Now, you assess, no? Ano yung um, mga important attitudes mo yung mga career um, plans mo and mga family values mo and nature of work mo. All of this um, should be considered and even your personal health, all of this should be considered when you create your personal work-life balance formula. And by doing so, next slide, um, we will have an adequate and sufficient capacity to commit ourselves to all of the hats na ginajuggle natin. Okay? And sometimes we have to sacrifice one hat um, for a given moment. 
Okay? Pero, after which, we have to go back there. Diba? For example, usahay, pwede nato masacrifice ato ang social time muna so that makakoncentrate ta sa family time natin at saka sa work time. Then eventually, mubalik na po ta sa itong sa social time. And next slide. So, you ask yourself, how satisfied are you with this areas of functioning ninyo? And kung meron mang, um, meron mang part na medyo lacking ka, then perhaps it is time now to ask kung ano yung pwede mong gawin about it. Okay? Like, uh, educational and learning ba? Then perhaps it is time now for you to decide na mag-proceed na kasi masters or to attend perhaps um, important seminars that you wish to attend. Or sa siblings, basin, basin wala na mo yung communication, then siguro it's time na i-chat ninyo sila. Um, next slide. So how, so what should we do and how do we take it from here? I will give you um, suggestions or activities or options that you can do to actually increase your personal resilience and your work-life balance. Remember that personal resilience is composed of these four factors. Coping strategies, no? our capacity, our personal resources to address situation, our grit, meaning our capacity to find strength amidst um, adversity or certain conditions, our emotional intelligence, meaning our capacity to label and be attuned and befriend our emotions and sense making. No meaning uh, the purpose that we have integrated in the things that we do in our actions, our meaning in life, and our all vision of what we can contribute for others and what we can do for ourselves. We can use the katatagan framework. This Katatagan framework is introduced by Dr. Regina and her colleagues. No, This framework is used ever since um, Yolanda. Now, let's start with Kalakasan. Kalakasan is revisiting our personal strength and personal resources. You can use the Vinta, no? the boat that you, can use, that you can see in your right uh, view. No? So you can write in each stripe your personal strength and personal potentials. No? So every day or at least once a week, you have to look at again your personal strength. May it be through dancing, singing, capacity to do research, um, to make uh, essays, poems, and everything therein. No? Importante na mabalikan nato ni siya na personal strength. Hindi necessary na yung strength natin is related sa ting job or occupation. Okay, not necessary. No? Remember that each of us, each of us has a unique strength and unique potential. Okay? Remind ourselves about this potentials. We have to remind ourselves about these potentials. Kasi minsan, because of our business, nalilimutan natin yung mga capacities natin. Okay? So every day, let's look up. Let us be amazed and be at awe with our personal strengths. Next is katawan. Okay? It importante that we take care of ourselves. No? Kasi nga, our physical health is also our mental health. No? By doing as what you have commented earlier, health, healthy lifestyle. No, I would like to promote this application. No, let's meditate application. It is downloadable, and uh, it contains guided meditation techniques. Na for you, no, that will help you uh, for your sleep and for other things. No, um, even to to address. Uh, or to prevent anxiety. At the same time, you can also do physical exercises or physical activities. 
no? By just doing um by just doing your household chores, no? Pag pag silhig, pag hampaso, pag gimpyo sa balay, these are already physical activities. Physical exercise and physical activities will also help us boost our um, immune system and even help us catalyze production of important neurotransmitters such as endorphins. And endorphin, um, on one end, will help us achieve um, emotional stability or emotional health. And importante din yung good sleeping habit. No? So yung masuggest ko is as much as possible, you um, set um, your sleeping time period. No? Your sleeping time and your wake time period. Yung aking ginagawa is uh, you dim your lights. For example, gusto mo matulog um, 9 p.m. So at 8 p.m. pa lang, ginadim na nimo ang light nimo sa imuhang um, sleeping area. Okay? Including the brightness sa imuhang phone, idim na nimo katong pinaka-lowest na brightness. Tapos, um, magligo na ka kasi importante din na ating, ang body temperature natin is medyo magbaba. No? Kay, para mas makatulog na yun ta. Yun. No, tapos, you make it a habit na afterwards. Um, the dim light will help us produce melatonin um, and na chemicals for us to sleep better. Next slide, please. Kalooban or gratitude journaling. Ito yung gina sinasabi ko earlier, no? That at the end of the day, you can write three things that you are grateful about sa imuhang day. Okay? By doing so, you can um, you can remind of yourself sa one, personal strength in you, sa sec second, sa imong mga personal accomplishment, and third, sa things that you are um, that you have to be joyful and be happy about. Okay? Gratitude journaling is also a way no, to prevent us from um, thinking about negative thoughts. Next slide, please. And of course, kapag ipakinabang nagawain, you also have to declutter, organize, and be consistent with it. Meaning declutter, you put away the things that you don't need anymore kasi the more na na cluttered ang ating area all the more na disturb tayo and hindi tayo makathink um, appropriately. No? So, we have to declutter, we have to put away or give the things that we don't need anymore. And, um, and um, organize our stuff. No? Yun. At the same time, we have to lessen our social media usage. No? Um, by setting time kung kanus alam nato siya gamiton we can use we can also do that by using social media as our um end motivation meaning we have to accomplish muna our task then saka tayo mag social media okay so nahimo nato siya as reward for ourselves and as much as possible you don't expose yourself to negative news in fact mas okay na maminaw ta sa mga mas positive aspect or, or things na makalearn ta, mga, mga vlogs na makalearn ta, no? such as TED Talk, um, School, of, School of Life, even tong mga vloggers na, na ay mga important ay na makahelp sa to, to, to better ourselves. No? Like vlog perhaps ni, ni Slater Young or katong teachers and whosoever. Or even mga personal vlogs sa inyong mga kalila. Na helpful. Mas better to as compared sa i-follow itong mga negative news. And of course, kalutasan at kaagapay. Remember that we are each other's support system. Okay? So, meaning, importante na we connect ourselves to others. No? Kumustahin natin ang isa't isa. Okay? Importante yan. And importante uh, that you remind us 
you remind yourself that you are not alone. Okay? When you feel you are disturbed, you connect with your family members, you connect with your peers, you connect with your super direct supervisor. No? At the same time, we have to be supportive of each other, especially at this time of crisis. Kay ang isa't isa lang ang naata sa karon. Ang isa't isa ang secured na naata. Okay, importante maging supportive ta with, with each other. Not just not because a uh, colleague, but rather because it is the human the humanest way to do. The humane it is the most humane way to do things. Okay? And you focus on the things that you can control rather than the things that you cannot control. Example, rather than focusing on the pol political aspect of the Philippines, you focus on your classes, you focus on your day-to-day -day living, you focus on your family, no? you focus on the controllables. And last one is kinabukasan and sense of meaning that as much as possible all of these things no lahat na nangyayaring ito will help you realize your goals in life will help you realize your purpose and will help you find your meaning and discover your personal values no your patience your persistence and your your capacity to to still go through with all of these pains, even if difficult na. Remember that your small steps are actually big leap na. No? Uh, yung, yung pagtuturo nyo students nyo amidst this situation is already a big accomplishment. No? Despite the fact na natin personal struggles. No? Yun. So, um, before I leave or before I conclude my, my talk, this is the question that I want you to answer. Personal, this can be a personal answer na hindi nyo na kailangan ni answer. Or you can also comment your answer sa comment box. What personal development have you noticed during this COVID-19 situation? No? Kasi nga, Kasi nga, this, con this situation as well becomes a personal development for all of us. So, pwede nyo siyang, i uh, pwede nyo siyang evaluate or makakreate ng insight for you. Ano yung personal development ninyo throughout this current COVID-19 situation? Importante ito, na ito siya na question kasi minsan nakakaligtaan natin makita na meron pala tayong development din sa ating sarili. No, kasi somehow disturbed na tayo sa um, iba't ibang situation. No, kaya nakakaligtaan natin i-ask or makita yung development natin. Now before I conclude, later you can you can write your comment um, or your answers from this question sa comment box. But before I conclude my my uh, presentation, I would like to leave to you two important um, thoughts. No? One from Frankel and one from me. Next slide, please. Um, from Victor Frankel, my, my favorite author and uh, favorite therapist. Uh, when we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. Okay? And last one is, be comfortable spending time. Yes. And next slide, please. That, it, it is from me. When you wish to move from where you are right now, yet the universe is some, somehow stopping you, then perhaps you still have something to learn or something to do. Okay. Thank you everyone for listening. And I hope um, the topic today allowed you or helped you see your development and um, help you somehow get um, important 
areas na pwede nyo magamit sa inyong hang day-to-day life. Now, I am ready for your questions. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sir Cell. So, one thing that really reminded me of your talk is that kumustahin ang isa't isa because unfortunately, we as teachers, we somehow forget to ask each other how are we because we tend to just ask our students kumusta na kagang but sometimes the struggle of being a strong person or being a teacher is no one bothers to ask how we are so thank True. you for reminding us that so for some questions you may input your questions on our comment box i only caught one question so far from sir ariel sir cell He's asking, how about individuals who are not aware of their mental problems? Yeah, very common na siya actually. <laughs> Daghag factors po, Anna. One is, ang isang mga factor kay pwede um, stigma. Not necessarily dili sila aware, pero hadlok ta sa stigma. Like hadlok ta sa, we are afraid to consult because we don't want to be stigmatized by our family. No, especially our family. No, kana ang medyo difficult kasi at some point other families are not quite supportive of our mental health struggles. No, so yun yung isa. Second is stigma from the community. Yan. And that is why very supportive karon ang research or even even the professionals are quite supportive of the use of um, online consultation. No, to somehow address this stigma. No? So, unsa pang other factors that would lead individuals to to not be aware of their mental health concerns, pwede siya, pwede siya um, uh, personality traits, no? na um, masyadong, masyadong enmesh or integrated na masyado ni siya ng mga things sa ilang personality to the point na they feel na personalidad lang nila to. Dili to mali. Ang ana. So, how do we how do we help them become aware? If you are close, una, syempre, kung guwapo po mo relationship. I mean, di ba, like, even kita, kung, kung madungog po na to sa ubang tao na, kung yung ani lagi ka, medyo chismoso lagi ka, charot. tapos dili ka ayot ka ila sa tao, medyo off for us. Di ba, kasi, ay, ginajudge ko ni mo, di magalita close. No? So, we also have to assess. No? Kasi, pero kung close na nato, then we become more open to them. Kasi, kasi responsibility din natin yun as, uh, as friends, or as peers, or as a family member. No? Pero, we do it in a lighter way na perhaps, perhaps it is also good na itanawo nato ni siya na aspeto sa itong sarili, di ba? Unsa yung muna pansin si mga galingon, and so on. If Dili Jude, ay, sorry, if Dili Jude, then it is also our personal responsibility to encourage them to seek professional help. No? Sa school, naatay individuals na, ay naatay office like ang guidance and counseling center. They can also, ano, they can also assist you. Diba? Yes, unfortunately, sir, here in the Philippines, morag dili gud kayo siya na nakakomon ang magsikog uh, mental okay. health professional kay morag. Para sa imong giyon kagani sir, oh. moingon nga mo mental health professional kay huang na diretso. So, unfortunately, okay. nana gud Japan sa Philippines. But thank you, sir, for opening our eyes to that possibility nga need gud nato especially that we are in this pandemic na dili takabalo og unsa on og adjust og sakto especially our mental health condition so thank you so much uh, do we have other questions here in our comments so i think that's it we only have one question so i hope sir ariel we were able to answer your query so later reminding later for this afternoon's session it's focused on students but you could still uh, listen to that session this afternoon and Sir Cell, do you have any more words before we say goodbye to our audience? Mm. Once again, thank you for inviting me here sa, uh, sa university ninyo. And hopefully that amidst all of these things happening, you are still able to clarify the 
purpose of what you are doing right now, of pur the purpose of becoming a teacher. Thank you and God bless. Thank you so much, Sir Selvino. And your um, app that you recommended, the Let's Meditate, I think that would be very useful for all of us. So thank you so much again, Sir Selvino. Later this afternoon, we will be awarding our speaker the Certificate of Recognition. But for those who are here, audience that are here, please see this link for our attendance, for also for our e-certificates. Yes, please click on the link on it's http bit.ly slash shs days May 17 for your attendance and for e-certificates. So I know that we are quite sad because we're not in the top 10 si Philippines, but that's okay. At least we are now one step closer to our mental health. So let's follow the rule. The, uh, suggestions and comments with by our speaker for today so let's see each other this afternoon for this afternoon session so thank you so much everyone and again i am janessa grace your host for today i'll see you again this afternoon goodbye everyone happy lunch